Good afternoon, traders. It is Friday, October 22nd, 2021, and the U.S. stock market is closed. Uh, this wasn't where the excitement was, but the Dow Jones Industrial Average did actually uh, make a new record high on the close today. You remember two days ago, this point over here was an intraday record high for the Dow, but it closed below the uh, record close. But today, um, today this was actually an intraday high, and but the close was at this previous level before, so that is an all-time record close for the Dow. So the Biden bull market continues and I use that term with great cynicism. Um, okay, the statistics of de today appear very good, um, but they were the freakiest of most freaky Fridays. Uh, as far as I was concerned, but on the surface, this is what happened. We were negative $10,000 on an open trade yesterday, and we closed out negative 2600 today. So we improved significantly uh, in, in terms of being much less negative than yesterday. That was good. We got into five new positions, well actually four new positions and one holdover, and three are positive and two are negative, and we're positive $9,000 uh, uh, in open trade going over the weekend. So on the surface that appears really good. It wasn't very good. By the way, I, if I didn't mention the Dow closed up 73 points today. Okay, let's look at two stocks here to illustrate just how freaky this Friday uh, turned out to be. This first one uh, is just a disappointment. The next one is a nightmare, but this is a, was a disappointment. This is MDIA. That's uh, Mediac Mediaco, Medieco Holdings Incorporated, and uh, we uh, bought this yesterday. It closed against us, then big, huge gap up this morning, and then we closed out like an hour or so into the day. Up here on the very top, 30 minutes into the day, we were up $13,600 uh, in Mediaco Holdings Incorporated, and then we're actually stopped out there with profits of $5,600. So we saw an $8,000 drop here in less than uh, about 20 minutes here. Uh, and that is disappointing, but once again, the whack-a-moles are out in f force this morning, and that costs us over half our profits in that trade. But this was just a mild disappointment compared to what I'm going to show you next. And that is Grom, G-R-O-M. Grom Social Enterprises Incorporated. And I saw this thing just going absolutely berserk in the pre-market this morning, and I knew we were in for a wild ride. We bought Grom yesterday midday, oh, nearly at the high of the day, and it closed about $7,000 against us. So this looked like a terrible trade. This morning, 
this thing went absolutely wild and uh, uh, we're, we're still in it. We had this huge spike up, uh, topped out about where uh, Mediaco topped out at the same time, and then just sucked all the wind out of that, went down here. We're actually back at a loss at this low point here, and then it just kind of drifted sideways and did have some upside here toward the end of the day as I suspect day traders were uh, covering their short positions that they made up here someplace. Okay, the numbers are staggering. Up here on the very top here, um, Grom was at $44,000 plus. That's right, $44,000 plus right up here, you know, 30 minutes into the day. And then where we close here, we have um, $9,000. So we saw a drop here of $35,000 from the top here to where it closed. And I'm going to tell you, in the aftermarket, it's down more. Is we're breaking, we're basically back to break even in the aftermarket as I'm speaking, uh, and uh, if I really want to get up pessimistic, I'm going to say by probably, probably by tomorrow we're going to get back down to that seven thousand dollar loss. Yesterday we were on the close. That's just how bad this is. Look, this is just. <laughs> Yeah, it's driving me crazy. And what's driving me crazy is that these are not free markets. These are totally manipulated markets. They're calling um, trading halts on this thing uh, this morning like crazy to stop this. They, they don't want this happening. This destroys the head funds managers. And their, their primary weapon is to call trading halts which stop the, the, the panic buying and allows uh, hedge fund managers to uh, do whatever they do to push these markets back down so they can cover their shorts. And that's exactly what's happened. And I'll give you just one little slice of this corruption. And in no way does this, uh, the reason, was this the, the reason for this happening but it's something I can prove, uh, which I can prove. I don't have to just speculate that there's corruption going on. I um, post posts on t stock twits. Every post I make, no matter how benign it is, always gets uh, some comments or it gets likes. And each time a post of mine gets a comment or a like I get email on it so it's very easy for me just to look at my email and get an idea of how much exposure uh, my uh, posts get I made two posts mentioning Grom this morning and I did not get a single email on either of those which clearly tells me I was shadow banned this morning. It wasn't so much my being shadow banned, but the fact is stock twits, which is like the Twitter for traders, is manipulating and censoring what can be said, what was being said about this stock this morning. And that is just part of a much larger picture of... Um, uh, manipulation of this stock and there's money trading hands to make this thing do this stuff and uh, it's not a free market and I'm concerned that I, I don't know if I can make money in markets that aren't free markets you know my my whole strategy is based here on the psychology of trading but when that's being manipulated, 
by elitist special interests um, who certainly don't have our interests in uh, mind, uh, we get this kind of stuff. So I see a drop of $35,000 in profits today, and it could get worse tomorrow. I'm just totally disgusted with that. I just, I just look at this with, with revulsion. Because it, you know, I can understand it happening sometimes. I mean, I've seen this many times before, but now it just happens all the time. Nothing is allowed to go up and allow us to make the big profits we used to. And it's, and it's, it's manipulation. It's corruption. It's dirty market. Uh, and it's the Biden bull market. I'm sick of it. I'm really sick of it. Anyway, yeah, okay, you guys have a great weekend. I'll be back here on Monday.